today I'm going to be talking about deciduous trees. There are many different kinds of plants in the world, although each is unique and special in its own way. Most plants found on land are either deciduous or evergreen. Remember, a deciduous plant is one that loses its leaves. An evergreen plant is one that does not lose its leaves and is always green. This is a picture of an apple tree in the winter. An apple tree sheds or loses its leaves every year, so it's a deciduous tree. Deciduous is a tricky word to say because it has four parts. Say the word with me. Deciduous. The four parts in the word deciduous can actually help you remember that deciduous trees change in each of the four seasons. Seasons happen in a cycle or a circle over and over again. Spring, summer, fall, and winter. Spring, summer, fall, and winter. Let's start with spring when new things start growing. In the spring, the apple tree produces new leaves and apple blossoms or flowers. Remember Polly the honeybee? This is the time of year when she starts taking nectar from the inside of flowers. When she flies from flower to flower, she helps spread the pollen that is going to help the apples grow. In the summer, the apple tree grows many more green leaves. Apples begin to grow out of the blossoms. In the fall, the apples of the apple tree are fully grown and ready to pick. The leaves on the apple tree start to change to red and then yellow, and then they fall off into the ground. Over time, the leaves in the ground will break down into tiny pieces and become nutrients in the soil. Here's the apple tree again in winter. Remember, the seasons repeat in a cycle or circle over and over again every year. This apple tree has bare branches again, meaning that they are empty without any coverings or leaves. That is because plants do not get as much sunlight during the winter as they do during the spring and summer. In the apple tree's habitat, the weather becomes cold and there is less light from the sun. With less light from the sun, the tree's leaves cannot make food through photosynthesis. Because the apple tree cannot make food during the winter, it must conserve or save its energy. It does this by becoming dormant. When the apple tree goes dormant, it stops making leaves, blossoms, and apples, and its branches become bare. This image shows an apple tree in all four seasons. Remember, the apple tree is a deciduous tree because it loses its leaves every year. In the spring, an apple tree is nice to look at with its white blossoms. In the summer, you can climb its branches, sit under the shade of its large green leaves, and admire the apples as they grow out of the blossoms. In the fall, you can pick the apple tree's fruit and watch the leaves change colors before falling off. In the winter, you can play in the snow under its bare branches. Although trees are special to us in many ways, it is important to remember that trees are also important to nature. Trees, more than any other plants, help keep the air clean and safe to breathe. They also provide food and homes for countless animals. So next time you see a big deciduous tree, wrap your arms around it and give it a big hug just to show you understand how important it is. Now let's review what I read to you today. A deciduous plant is a plant that loses their leaves. Deciduous plants start to lose their leaves in the fall. They lose their leaves in the fall because there is not enough sunlight to make food through photosynthesis. So the leaves fall off and the trees go dormant. Dormant is another word for kind of just like going to sleep. I hope you learned a lot today. So thank you for listening as always and I'll see you next time. Take care.